Thank you for joining us today on World Card Making Day. My name is Tina Kavrgic and my company is called Northern Stamper. I'm located just east of Toronto in a town called Ajax in Ontario. I'm going to be talking to you today about scouting cards. I was a scout leader uh, many years ago and there are various levels in the scouting um, community and they start off at age five and they are called beavers so what I did is I started out in there and my name at that time was called bubbles I just don't know why they called it that but every leader gets a name from the storybook uh, from the riverbank and mine was bubbles and it was um, actually a lot of fun so uh, beaver scouts are from age five to seven and that's where they start out in the scouting um, community and what we do is we do a lot of crafts a lot of activities a lot of games it's a lot of gathering so at that level the motto is sharing 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 so we get together and we do a lot of that the kids learn a lot about uh, working together as a community and uh, working together as groups and that is one of the levels that we have at that time. After beavers, there's a second uh, level, and that is called Cub Scouts. And those kids move up into um, a different level where it uh, the story revolves around uh, the Jungle Book. So what we do is we do, we do a lot more activities, a lot more challenge uh, activities that they can learn for badges. And the kids have a lot of fun. Now at that, um, I love the Cub Scouts. That was one of my favorite things to do. And my name, I was known as Raksha. And I was the mother wolf of all of these lovely little cubs. Now today, what I'm going to be showing you is uh, some cards to welcome in some of the kids into your group. Now, Stampin' Up! has got some really great um, stamp sets that you can use. One in particular that I really like is Wildlife Wonder. Now this is a great stamp set and this actually um, works very well at the cub level because it represents a lot of the Jungle Book uh, theme characters such as Baloo, the, which is the bear. Uh, there is uh, the wolf on the rock, which could be Akela, which is the leader, or Raksha, which is also the leader. And there's a little owl, which is also in the story, that has their own name. So scouting is a lot of fun. It is a lot of challenges for the kids, but well worth looking into. So let's get started and take a look from Raksha, a.k.a. Northern Stamper, at some scouting cards so let's get going one of the best things about joining scouts is that they have various levels for each for each age group in the first level there's beaver scouts which are age five to seven and is using the happy hedgehogs now this is great because um, it does have some a few little forest animals in it and what I did is created a few cards with the the little hedgehog welcoming the little beaver scouts. Now beaver scouts are from the ages of five to seven and their motto is sharing, sharing, sharing. So it is a lot of on hands and activities that we can do um, within the, the beaver colony as we call it. And one of the great ideas is that we have lots of uh, crafting ideas. So this is a little welcome card for some of the incoming beavers um, to welcome them into the group. Another one is uh, we try to give responsibility to all the uh, kids. Some become little um, den, little leaders for their their group. So maybe we'll make them a very special card to welcome them in as um, as they advance on to the various levels and responsibility. Now, in the Beaver group, we do a lot of activities. There's a lot of in-house activities, lots of fun. But one of the great things is doing some crafting activities. Now, the paper pumpkins as an option are fantastic because you get um, some of the, the kits in here. So you get roughly about eight uh, cards, but they're four of each. So 
Getting a monthly paper pumpkin for a crafting activity definitely makes your life a lot easier as a scout leader or a cub leader um, for the crafts. So there's lots of fun little activities that they can do for crafting. Um, I was a beaver leader for four years and it was so much fun. We had lots of activities, lots of uh, crafting activities um, and stuff like that. So sometimes they also have with the paper pumpkin such as coming in for the Halloween, they also have like little treats. Um, they may have Halloween treat boxes. They also have uh, different kinds of treats throughout the year. So grab a paper pumpkin subscription for your beaver colony and be ready for those crafting times. So once again, beaver scouts, age five to seven, don't forget to welcome them in to the little colony. The second level of scouting is called the Cubs and uh, Cub Scouts and that is, I gotta tell you, a lot of fun and that is based on the Jungle Book stories and so they have, right now we have the Wildlife Wonder stamp set which works out absolutely fantastic because there's a little, uh, there's a bear and in the Jungle Book stories there's Baloo who is the wise bear that helps out Mowgli on his journey and uh, same like the little cub scouts uh, all leaders are named after characters so there's one down here that is the wolf you can either call him Akela which is the head of the scouting uh, pack but as myself I decided I'm not quite an Akela I am Raksha, which is the mother wolf, which I think is way more fierce than a Kayla. So this Wildlife Wonder is a fantastic set for creating scouting cards for those coming into Cub Scouts. Love it. That uh, was my very best time ever in scouting. I, I had so much fun. We had, it was great. Um, the kids learned a lot. We, we, they have responsibilities. They have challenges to get their badges. And every week we always had something going on. And normally uh, the uh, scouting Cub Scout group that I was with had an average of 24 to 32 kids. Every week they always showed up. That told me that they were having a great time. Love it. I miss it. And um, so I wanted to show you some of the cards that, uh, some I card ideas for creating for scouts. Now you're off to great places. This is a great one for those coming into Cub Scouts because they will be going to some really great places, especially nature, learning, and everything like that. In the, in the Cub Scouts, they have uh, uh, packs, and the head of each little pack has, is, uh, is, a, is a leader for, of the kids. So one of the kids is chosen as a sixer and what they can do. This is a great one. Hey, you've got this. Those kids that are chosen always wonder if they're ready, but you know what? By the end of the year, they have got this. This is fantastic. What a great card to help motivate them and tell them that they're good enough for, for what they're doing. Another great card to welcome your scouts in with is this, Anything is Possible. So I love this color. We've stamped the back with the mountains and used the reverse on this, the front. And that is a Knight of Navy along with Pale Papaya. So let's move on. We've just got a couple of more. Uh, there's a Kayla sitting on the rock and there's a little book binding one. We've got so I've got some a lot of great ideas. So a lot of the activities that they have for the the scouts are absolutely fabulous. Now this is a great card. Um, I love this one. It's a more of a 3D card and it stands up like that. It is fantastic. But being parts of a part of scouts has uh, made a huge impact in my life. And I hope I, those children that I've been with over those seven years have uh, stayed in my heart and in my memories forever. I do not regret any time that I spent with those kids. They are all wonderful, and I know that they've gotten off to a really great start. Now, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is show you at the scouting level how to use Wildlife Wonder to create a card for those coming in. So... Anyways, let's get started. Don't forget to join me. I am Northern Stamper, Tina Kovergich. If you have any questions, northernstamper at gmail.com.
let's get going. All right, we're going to start our cards, and I'm going to show you the different card colors that we're using. So the brown that we're using is called Soft Suede, and that's a card stock um, we will be using for some of our mats. Uh, this is a very vanilla, a very soft color that I found would work works really well with these these colors that we're using, and one of my favorite. And this is soft succulent. What a fabulous color! Um, these three pieces of cardstock is what we're going to be making our card with, and we're going to bring this all in, and we're using the early espresso ink. So those are some of the basics that we're using. The color of the designer series paper is uh, from the textured cheek line. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the darker green with the gold. Like, look at the, the shine on that. Fantastic. But I think I'm going to go with a little bit of lighter with the soft succulent and that gold. So isn't it fantastic? Absolutely stunning. I have to tell you, this is a great 12 by 12 pack for $21. Very, very, very pretty. Um, Though you may see it in the catalog or may see it on video, I have to tell you these colors are way more stunning in person when you get it. So the, this is very exciting. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating a slim line card with these items. So the only other item that we're going to be bringing in is uh, some twine and... Uh, some gems that I picked up from the mini catalog and these are going to match really well with the gold. It's uh, slightly off from the gold but I got to tell you it really does pick it up. So we've got the twine and the gems. Now the gems come in the mini catalog and that is found on page 49 and it comes actually as a bundle, a little bundle with these leaves. Now if you want you can use these leaves, they would look absolutely stunning. You can leave them by themselves or even run them through an embossing machine to add some dimension to those leaves. They are craft. Uh, type paper, but looks absolutely stunning. I'm not doing it with this card, but I highly recommend you can do it uh, with some um, parts in this card. It will still look great. And this is where the gems come in. Now, this is a great little combo pack for $11. Um, I picked it up when it first came out, and I was thrilled with it. It's fantastic. So take a look in the mini catalog on page 49 for that. And... Don't forget the Textured Cheek, which is on page 134, uh, $21 for the pack. All the papers are stunning. So take a look for those, and let's get started. What we want to do is, first we are going to create our card base with our for our slimline card. So we're going to take our Soft Succulent, which is 8.5 by 11. Now we're not going to cut it down. We're going to be doing some scoring with this. So let's get our trimmer and start scoring. Okay. So I have my uh, trimmer here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to score it. The first score line I'm going to do is at 3 and one half. So a ha the slimline card is three and one half. So that's what I'm going to do first. Now I want to add a little bit of an overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to take this at the three and a half mark. Okay. But because I want it to f this bottom half on the right to fold over, I'm going to move it over just a little bit, maybe one little line mark or maybe even two. Two may be too much, so I'm just going to move it over one tiny little line mark and that is one sixteenth. And I'm going to score again. And that's why I had folded this to give me an idea. So this way, as I fold this card over, it does not buckle the, the paper underneath. And uh, what I want is a nice fold line um, because if I make it too tight, it won't all fit together. So I have the score lines all done correctly. Now I need to turn my card base and cut this to eight and a half. So I'm going to take this up to eight and a half on the trimmer. And I'm just going to cut completely as I have them folded. Now, just to make sure 
there we go you can actually unfold it and do a cut if you prefer or you can fold it over and cut uh, you might have to get a little bit of a um, file and if there's any pieces that are a little bird just uh, file them off a little bit so I have the card base created what I want to do is now I want to get the the designer series paper the DSP and I'm going to have to cut one two pieces of that one for this flap on the front whoops and one for this flap on the the little flap on the bottom so remember this was three and a half so let's take it down just a little bit on that so I want to make sure it is long enough or whatever I'm cutting so okay I can see that's long enough I don't want to ruin too much paper so I'm uh, gonna just use the top portion so that card base was three and a half so let's just take it down oh to three and one quarter so I'm gonna cut it at three and one quarter and that will give me the part for the front flap here and I'm going to turn it and the same so I'm going to take it down to eight and one quarter so I'm going to line that up and just trim it off so if I take that piece of paper and I lay it down I can see it has a nice frame all the way around on the card base okay and what I want to do is um, because I don't want to lose this and I know I'm not wrapping any ribbon around it extra I'm just going to glue this down as I go along now it's up to you you can uh, do this gluing a little later um, once you have all your items cut or you can do it as you go along um, it is totally up to you I just I don't know about you sometimes I just lose things on my desk and it's easier if I just put it all together now when I put the glue down because this is a slimline card I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to the center like a couple of pieces there and on each end and I'm just going to lay this down and put it with a nice frame all the way around carefully do that just take your time this is not a race because you want to get it done right so this way I know I'm not going to lose this piece what I want to do next is I want to do this one on the front now if I double check I can see I can see on the trim line where it comes into here so that is just under one and a half so I'm going to make it one and a quarter so I'm going to cut that down to one and a quarter right and then I'm going to turn it because it's going to be too long so I want to take that down again to eight and one quarter whoops there you go you can see it now just taking off a little bit all right now I have that uh, it's placed on there and what I can do is I will be adding uh, ribbon to this but I'm going to be wrapping ribbon completely around it and what I want to do is so I don't lose my pieces again totally up to you you can add your glue later or as you go along so I'm just going to add it as I go along so I don't lose it on the desk okay I'm going to add that and just pop it on the front you can see the card is coming together but wait it is going to be even better all right let's get started with the next step which is cutting the other pieces of cardstock we're going to be cutting our cardstock um, at two different sizes and what we want to do is I'm going to cut the first piece which is going to be this beautiful soft suede in color and I'm going to be cutting it two and a half by two and a half now I need to make three of those cuts so let's get on and do that two and a half by two and a half The next piece on what we're going is the very vanilla and we're going to take this down to two and one quarter by two and one quarter and we need three of those again so let's do some more cutting
And now we have three of the very vanilla and three of the soft suede. I know you're going to notice that each one fits very nicely on each little square as a mat. And what we're going to do next is we are going to stamp our images on these little squares. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stamping Akela, or in my case, Raksha, the mother wolf, so rawr. Um, we're going to do the bear. You have the choice if you want to have a sentiment on there too. I'm, gonna, I'm going to use to a great guy. Or, my goodness, I could use for all the great things you do. You know what? Let's see what we can come up with. Fantastic. Off to the side. We want to get a piece for the inside of our card. So what I want to do is I want to make a little banner on the inside here. So I'm going to get a strip of very vanilla and I'm going to cut that down and I'm going to make it about one inch and we're going to cut that and it's one inch by just it's going to be just under eight, so it's eight and a half, eight, eight and one quarter. So there we go. So it's going to go all the way across. So if I bring this in, I want it to go all the way across from one side of the DSP to the other. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside. And let's go with what we got here. That looks really good. I love that. It's going to turn out fantastic. What we're going to do is let's just add this to the inside as it sits on there with a little bit on showing from the bottom. Okay. I'm going to add that. And that's actually going to hide behind this piece of fold. All right, just like that. What we want to do now is we are going to take our ribbon and we're going to wrap it around a little bit. To wrap it around all the way around. Give it a little bit of extra. Okay, and I'm going to make a little knot. Can I make a knot on the end because where it comes out, I want it to kind of hang out a little bit. Okay, so just a little bit on there on the end. So what I'm going to do, I want to kind of have an idea. If I put them down one, two, three, space them out. There we go, right about there. Hold that down with a little piece of tape.
And I'm just adding in a little bit to kind of put a knot on the other side for some design. And we'll bring it around. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I have the ribbon placed around. What I want to do is I'm going to lay down the pieces how I want them to lay on the front. And once I figure that out, what I'm going to do is I will glue them down. Now remember, just glue down the bottom part here, not the whole square. So you want to have that so it's just on the bottom flap. And I'm actually going to leave that one in the center because I'm going to do that last because I want to make sure it is even on both sides. I'm going to bring this around here. There. Okay. Whoops. Actually, we can either just leave it like that but I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon around the center here. Okay. And let's do this. Okay, and again. We'll tie a piece. You can make one of your fancy uh, scout knots if you like on here. Kind of show off what they're going to learn. There we go. We'll glue this down, make sure it's well secured, and place it in the center. And we'll make a little knot on the ribbon. And on the inside, we will put some. There we go. And then what we're going to do is on the inside, the very inside, is we will place our piece of cardstock. There we go. All ready for a brand new Cub Scout. What do you think? Let me know what you think if you have any questions, northernstamper at gmail.com. Until next time, bye-bye.